back to part 35 of The Sims 3 Love Bites. So Blaine and Olivia, they're actually visiting Carolina, Silas's apartment, the vampire clan's apartment, if you will. So they're going to go upstairs in the elevator together. So I thought it would be nice to drop by here today for just a little bit. Looks like Olivia has a party invite from Mika. It's going to be a formal party. Starts at 7 o'clock. We shall be there. So poor Blaine. He is still weakened from Olivia drinking from him the other night. He is still dealing with his vampire situation, I guess. <laughs> and Olivia actually has some plasma fruit. So that's good. That way she doesn't always have to drink from Blaine's neck because he is currently going to morph into a vampire. So we don't have much longer to really make use of his blood. That sounds kind of morbid, right? <laughs> I would make a good serial killer. At least I think so. So Olivia is going to do a friendly introduction with Carolina, and isn't this so adorable? Both Blaine and Olivia, they actually have the wishes to go skating on a pond with each other, so we might have to do that. Oh no, Blaine, you look so sick. You definitely have a lot on your plate to deal with. He's also going to be performing his gig tomorrow night, which I am super excited about. Oh my god, you guys, what? <laughs> Try for baby Blaine. Seriously, keep it in your pants, boy. At least for a little bit. Look at that smirk. He knows what's up. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm ready for some babies. I'm ready. Yeah, no. No, let's not do that. It's kind of rude to have sex in these guys' apartment. Just a little bit rude. How about you come over here with your Uncle Silas and play a nice, innocent game of chess? Get your mind out of the gutter, Blaine, and stop fantasizing about your girlfriend, please. <laughs> so we do have Janelle in his little coffin room, I guess. Yes, please don't make love, please. I'm not ready for it right now. <laughs> I'm just not ready. We need to make a good impression on Carolina. I think it would piss off Carolina if we went to her bedroom and slept with our boyfriend. Yeah, that would kind of annoy her. I would assume so anyways. Although I do consider vampires to be very promiscuous um, kind of beings, if that makes sense. So they definitely do love their sex. <laughs> look at Blaine or Blaine, Silas. They look so similar. Yeah, he is so evil. I love evil men. Like they are so my type. <laughs> like give me a bad guy any day, really. So hopefully she has a sense of humor. We are telling her a funny story. Okay, and for some reason, Silas, he has his hands behind his back, so I think he's a little bit glitchy at the moment. We'll compliment her a little bit. We're going to suck up to her a little bit as well, get on her good side. And I do want to kind of play around with the vampire interactions a little bit. I do want to imagine that Carolina is teaching us how to really do these things. She is teaching us how to hypnotize people and stuff like that. So, yeah, she's kind of taking us under her wing, if you want to call it that. See how we can do. Oh, she's not impressed, is she? <laughs> she's like, is that the best you can do, Olivia? Girl, you need some work done with you. That's not going to fly very well when you're trying to hypnotize human sims. You need to work on that. We're going to show off our teeth, show her how fierce we truly, truly are. Yeah, Carolina is like, is that the best you've got? My teeth are so much more sharper. They're more better than yours, girl. So I think Silas, poor Silas, I think he's a little bit glitched out because his hands are just right behind his back. He's not, uh, he's not functioning normally <laughs> right now. Um, I do want to play chess with him, though. I think that would be fun. That way we get to improve our logic skill a little bit more, as well as talk with him, find out more about his life get to know him a lot more as well. Oh, are these guys? Oh, they're woohooing. <laughs> See, vampires, they're very, very promiscuous. They definitely love their sex, so yeah, they have that going for them, I guess. And yeah, so the boys are playing a game of chess in the bedroom. Hopefully, <laughs> I love that, um, I love that Olivia wanted to, to boast so about crazy. her That's gamer right. skills as Carolina and her husband are like making out. Isn't this guy so freaking beautiful? Oh my god, that is so stunning. I love the sunset. It's so gorgeous. So the boys are playing a game of chess. Oh, they're going to woohoo in the bedroom. Man, this guy is super hot. I mean, his body though. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I love that she just wants to like interrupt the moment here. Are you taking our picture, Jamel? Yeah, Silas is not going to really tolerate that of Jamel. Because, or Silas, oh my god. I'm going to get their names so mixed up from now on because they look so much alike. <laughs> but Blaine definitely, definitely remembers 
um, Jamel trying to like tease and play around with Olivia when they went to the vampire lounge at the graveyard. So Blaine is not going to forget that so easily. So Blaine's a little bit pissed off at Jamel. Still, unfortunately, he, he, he is uh, yelling in his ear. <laughs> That's nice. I think Jamel liked that. Yeah, he liked that. He's a little bit rebellious himself. Yeah, these guys are hooing. I love that Silas gives no, no Fs here. <laughs> He's like, come on guys, be a little bit more quiet. I'm trying to play a good game of chess here. Please, keep it down. <laughs> you can woohoo, but just be quiet about it, please, for the love of God. Okay, so Blaine. Um, <laughs> we can do so much with him. How about we... We, we're going to be nice with him because maybe they start off on the wrong foot, but I feel like we should be a little bit nice here because I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot more of Jamel. Please don't try for baby Olivia. Oh my god, these two, they are like rabbits. <laughs> They're just constantly wanting each other. Okay, since Jamel thinks we are being boring, we are actually going to accuse him of being a vampire. Aw, Carolina, she gave some beautiful flowers to her man. That is so sweet of her. So these guys aren't really feeling each other at the moment. He's going to confess to Blaine. Yes, yes, I am a vampire. You are right, Blaine. I am a dreadful, dreadful vampire. <laughs> I never would have guessed, Jamel, that you are a vampire. I never would have. So since Mika's party is about to start, I think we should head over there. I'm very, very excited about this. Are you not having a party, girl? What? <laughs> I am so confused. What happened to your party, Mika? You liar. <laughs> I'm going to reset Mika, actually. Mika Moore, please come back to your house, please, and party, please. <laughs> so even if the party does not start, I do want to go over here with Olivia. I think it would be nice for Blaine to actually meet Justin and Mika's child. Olivia met the kid, so I think it would be nice for Blaine to meet the kid, especially since Blaine is now thinking about trying for babies all of a sudden. <laughs> I think it would be nice for him to kind of get a feel for babies, you know? So Bunny, looks like Bunny is hunting. She wants to catch a turtle. She's practicing her hunting at the house. That is good of her. I'm glad that she is keeping herself entertained. Very whacked out. <laughs> yeah, Olivia is so much more faster than Blaine. Blaine can barely keep up. I can't wait for Blaine to become a vampire. He's going to really enjoy himself. Okay, so these guys are getting into the subway. I do love the atmosphere, like the city atmosphere ambiance, I guess. <laughs> I do love it so much. Are you guys going to walk there? I hope not. It's going to be a long walk. <laughs> no, of course not. They're going to take their limousine. Wow, look at that gorgeous view, you guys. That is stunning. It looks so pretty. I did turn up my graphics a little bit just to see if my computer can kind of handle it. And it's actually not going so bad. It's not lagging as much as what I thought it would. God, I love the open world so much. That's why it confused me so much when the Sims team decided to leave out the open world for the Sims 4. It made no sense. <laughs> Aw, these guys have Christmas lights. That is so adorable. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like having GTA and all of a sudden for the next game of GTA, they leave out the open world. Like, it makes no sense, right? To go backwards like that. Justin, I have a few questions. Just, just one question, actually. What happened to you, boy? <laughs> Do you need some help? <laughs> and why are you leaving your child on the floor? Josh, come on now. Yeah, you're not the greatest parent ever, Justin. I am sorry. I know you're, I know you're new to being a father, but the baby on the floor, I'm very confused by that. Even if Blaine becomes the father, I can't see him putting his baby, baby on the floor. I can't see that happening. <laughs> okay, so looks like I'm... Oh, oh. <laughs> did, did you see her trip? <laughs> she tripped over invisible nothingness. <laughs> yeah, I'm very much like Olivia. I tend to trip over my own feet. I don't even have to trip over anything. I trip over myself all the time. It's quite embarrassing, but I kind of get used to it, I guess. <laughs> Look at these two. They look so cute. They're all dressed up in their formal attire. Aww, these little lovebirds. <laughs> so I'm definitely wondering if we should let Blaine and Olivia try for a baby. I'm wondering if we should. So definitely let me know if you really think they should. Or should I just keep this Let's Play just revolving around Blaine and Olivia? 
The wind here is so strong. Not sure if you guys heard that, but oh. it's being super, super windy. Blaine is sick to his stomach yet again. Oh. Hopefully you'll soon be turning into a vampire so you won't have to be sick anymore. Okay, you want to have a drink. It's a little bit too late to have a drink, don't you think? <laughs> but you do have your guitar, actually. So how about you play some music you can perform a love since forgotten. Seems very, very fitting. Okay, how about you take a break from playing, girl? <laughs> I want Blaine to be the musician here, not you. Okay, Justin, at least you were taking care of your kid, but I want to spend some time with him, honestly. Mika is our best friend, so I do want to spend some time with old Josh before he does age up into a little toddler. Man, everyone is bugging Blaine for autographs. Come on, let's perform the song. I love since forgotten. Yeah, look at Bunny. She's definitely doing great with her um her hunting skill. Dexter, how did you get here so fast? <laughs> you were just moving with your wife, and now you're here. <laughs> I keep calling them husband and wife, but actually Dexter and Carolina. Our only boyfriend and girlfriend, but I do consider them to be like for like always together, like a forever together couple, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, Blaine is actually really good at guitar. He's actually doing really well. I mean, he should be good at it. He definitely is a natural born musician. And I don't think, oh my god, you are a mermaid ace. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no option to turn off mermaids from spawning into the world. Because you do have the options to turn off like each supernatural type. So it's kind of funny that you don't have the option to turn off mermaids. Is that just me? I find it weird. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I'm going to not worry about Blaine playing the bass skill. Like... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I was going to let Blaine really try to master all of the musical instruments, but I'm kind of wanting a break from all of the musical instruments. I don't really care if Blaine gets his lifetime wish. I rarely ever spend their lifetime happiness points anyway, so it's not a it's not a necessity for me to complete their wishes and stuff like that. Um, but oh my god, make love again. Seriously. Risky with who? Man, you really do want to uh, play a little bit risky here, don't you? <laughs> oh my god, these two. These two. I love it though. So Justin's actually making up some food, which is good. So Blaine, he's going to use the washroom. Olivia is pretty good, but I'm going to let her use the washroom downstairs as well. And I thought, since the party... The party, not really a party. A few people were here, but it was kind of a dead party, honestly. <laughs> but since the party is pretty much over with, I think it would be fun to go skating before it becomes springtime. Because it's going to be spring in like one more day, so we might as well enjoy the ice, the snow. We might as well enjoy it all. So Blaine, he's going to get something to eat. Oh, you know what? This actually might be Blaine's last meal. That sounds kind of dark. Kind of like Blaine is going to go to prison and get executed there. Like he's going to have his last meal before he dies. <laughs> but it's sort of the truth, actually, because when you do become a vampire, you're kind of you're kind of going to be dead. <laughs> so it kind of does make sense. So I'm going to send these guys over here to this big, big, big pond. And we're going to enjoy the last real night here of winter which i'm very very excited about i do love the springtime as well so i'm looking forward to seeing the seasons changing i find winter time does make my game even more laggy <laughs> so i find summertime is really good for not causing as much lag either but i am looking forward to spring where are you going blaine oh you're going over here yeah hopefully they can use this pond yeah you're using it oh it's such a beautiful night i love all the stars Come on, come on, Liv. Come on, girl. Skate with your man. Blaine's actually close on his next, like, little skating level, I guess. I'm not sure what level he's at now. I mean, he still looks pretty bad at skating, honestly. <laughs> and we can't spin with Olivia, which kind of sucks. It's too dangerous to attempt this right now. Yeah, I guess he has to improve. Yay, Blaine is metamorphing into a vampire. I feel as if a part of me has died, yet every other fiber of my being is raging with vitality. I crave something, yet I don't know what. It's like 
a thirst. A thirst. Oh my gosh, I am so, so, so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see him as a vampire. He's going to make such a sexy oh. vampire. I mean, he's already sexy, but yeah, make a guy a vampire ten times more sexier, right? Although his hand is starting to twitch. <laughs> Not that sexy. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I love this. I love when my sims transform. It just looks so badass, really. <laughs> you can't get any more badass than this, really. Oh, Blaine, you are no longer a human. You are actually embracing who you are, who you were in the past, who you're supposed to be in the future. You're, em you're really embracing yourself, which I love. And I love that he's now closer to Silas and he's actually not afraid to really be himself. Un unleash his inner beast. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we're still waiting on you, Blaine. Olivia, she's eating uh, some plasma fruit. Hopefully mm. she'll enjoy this better since she is a vegetarian. Oh, look at you. Yeah, you definitely look a little bit more dead, don't you? Your, your skin tone. <laughs> you look a little bit more dead, but I do love it. Okay, so Blaine is in a pretty good mood. I might let him sleep for a little bit longer. Or actually, instead of sleeping, I am going to let him and Olivia do a risky woohoo in the shower. They're not going to try for a baby. Not yet anyways. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe before this Let's Play does end, I will let them actually have a kid. I'm not quite sure on how I want to go about it. But for now, we are going to do a risky woohoo in the shower. Get cleaned while we're getting dirty. Unless Bunny wants to interrupt us. She is investigating the strange sin. <laughs> Even Bunny knows something suspicious is going on here with these guys. Bunny is very, very, very observant, isn't she? So we're going to try this again. Hopefully Bunny will stay out there and not interrupt us further. <laughs> but these guys are going to woo him. Oh my god, Bunny, seriously? <laughs> Investigate strange sin. Yeah, Bunny definitely knows something is definitely different with these guys. They definitely look a little bit more dead than normal. <laughs> so they're going to woohoo. I don't she'll get pregnant. I don't have that high of a chance of the risky woohoo. It's only 10% of a chance and it rarely, rarely ever happens for me. The only time I think I've ever had my sims successfully like got pregnant by a risky woohoo on the first ever attempt was actually my Supernatural Season 1. <laughs> Silas and Meadow, they risky woohooed during a Halloween party and she like got pregnant because of that the first time she got pregnant. I thought that was pretty incredible <laughs> because it never ever happens for me that my sins their first time having a risky woohoo. Yeah, it rarely, rarely, rarely ever happens. So Blaine, he's going to go use the washroom and go to bed. He does have his gig later on tonight. So I want him to be a little bit more rested for that, as he will be staying out pretty late. I don't want him to be too exhausted. And Olivia, she's actually going to go over to the grocery store, and she's going to stock up on some plasma fruit, because since it's now Blaine and her, they are going to be going through a lot of plasma fruit, to say the least. And I think I'll let her drop by the venue, the the bar as well and I want her to support Blaine tonight while he is performing and I think we're going to let Blaine throw a party tonight at the bar as well so that way there will be more people around and I think we'll have a fun time. Okay so Blaine is at the bar he is getting ready for his gig slash party. Silas actually called him on the phone which I thought was so so nice of him. So Blaine is actually talking to Silas about what he is planning tonight. Oh my god he actually is. Yeah, he's actually talking about Olivia. So he is telling Silas, his uncle, that he is planning to propose to Olivia tonight after his gig is done with. Oh my god, you guys. Do you guys remember Samantha? She was the first girl, I do believe, that Blaine had sex with when he first moved to Bridgeport. He hooked up with her in the elevator. She was a bartender at the time, but I guess now she is a bouncer. I guess life does change. Careers do change. Olivia, what's going on here, girl? Why are you insisting on ruining the moment here? <laughs> you know when you're really, really into your video games is when you're pressing your face right up against it like that. <laughs> she takes her video games very, very seriously, apparently. But yes, so Blaine, he is, um, he is planning to propose to Olivia. As you can see, he's definitely talking to his uncle about her. He actually had the thought bubble earlier when he was talking to Silas 
about having babies. So maybe he's telling his uncle that, hey, I also want to get her pregnant eventually too. So <laughs> after maybe they're married, maybe he'll get her pregnant. I'm not too sure. I didn't really see Blaine being like the like the family man, if that makes sense. Like I didn't really see him getting married, having kids, having that kind of happy-go-lucky lifestyle. Well, that is awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Jamel, can you give us like a little bit of space, please? I know you're kind of obsessed with Olivia, which Blaine really hates about you, but you know, you're kind of being a bit of a third wheel at the moment, buddy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. Yeah, I'm surprised that Jamel actually showed up. But yeah, like what I was going to say though, um, yeah, I don't... I never really saw Blaine being like the family man who had to get married to have a child. I didn't really see him doing that. But I think it is nice for him to do something like this, which he never thought he would ever do in his life. Blaine never ever thought he would ever settle down with a girl, ever get married, ever have children. He never thought that. He never really wanted it. So it's kind of nice, it's kind of like a spin on things for him to actually actually want something a little bit more serious with Olivia. He wants to spend the rest of his life with her, he even wants to have offspring. <laughs> so maybe by seeing Justin and Mika's child last night, maybe that did, did um, reinforce his ideas to actually get her pregnant. So maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> we will see. Be intimidated, Jamel, jeez, he's such a dick, isn't he? Yeah, he and Blaine, I swear, Blaine is probably going to try to kill him one of these days. <laughs> Especially if he tries to hang around Olivia a little bit more often, you know? Blaine is not going to tolerate that, especially now that he is a true vampire. He has true vampire strength. Um, yeah, Blaine is pretty powerful. Very, very powerful, indeed. So we are waiting for Barry Tenderlove to show up. I did invite him, so he is around here somewhere, but Lord knows where he could be. <laughs> like, I don't see him. Is he waiting downstairs to use the elevator? Sometimes these sims get stuck using the elevator. I don't see him. I do see Carolina, though, but I don't see Mr. Barry Tenderlove. And I hope we do see him because I do want to propose to Olivia after we do finish doing this gig. I actually do want to have a very successful gig as well. I don't want this to be a flop. Aw, hi daddy. Kent, Olivia's father, he is here. So it's nice as well that he's going to be here to support Blaine as well and to see Blaine propose to his daughter. If you guys remember, a long time ago, Blaine actually asked Kent for his daughter's hand in marriage. It's been a long time and... Uh, yeah, so tonight is going to be the night, which I am super, super, super excited about. And I will be doing a machinima as well, right as they are proposing and stuff like that. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. Once Barry comes up here, <laughs> then I will cut out. But I don't see Barry. Where the hell is he? I swear, Barry, if you ruin this moment. I mean, we were supposed to start our gig at 8 o'clock. It's almost 9.30. You were an hour and a half late, a typical rock star being late to your own show. <laughs> and you're dressed very, very, very funny, so I need to fix that too. God, Barry is such a mess. What would he be doing in his life without me, really? <laughs> so Olivia, I want her to actually come a little bit closer here. She was watching Blaine perform, but I want her to get a little bit closer to stage, you know? really take him in here. <laughs> really enjoy him. Yay, they are performing. That is ex excellent. Excellente. <laughs> so I will be cutting out and showing you guys the machinima of Blaine proposing as well as performing his gig.
are now engaged. They are engaged to be wed. She is so happy. She is probably crying tears of joy. She's just so happy to be Blaine's fiance now. Yeah, look at her jumping into his arms. That is so cute. So Blaine, he did propose to her on stage, sort of, and Skyline's playing was great. So now we have to go talk to Dwight Rumble and actually get paid. So how cool is that, you guys? Blaine and Olivia, they are now engaged to be wed. And not too sure when I will be getting them to get married. Maybe the finale, maybe, or maybe sooner. I'm not quite sure, but definitely let me know on how you want this Let's Play, like the remainder of it, to kind of play out as well. So yes, Blaine had an awesome, awesome gig. The sound of chairs and conversation could be heard for miles outside of the Bridgeport Sports Zone. Dwight is thrilled with the something, something, something because the thing disappeared on me. <laughs> and I do want to talk to DeAndre, actually. We're going to announce our engagement. Bunny is now level 5. Um, but yeah, so Dwight is thrilled with the change of atmosphere and has Skyline to thank for it. Aw, that was so sweet. So Blaine, he had a very successful gig. He wants to throw a bachelor party. Um, we might do that, actually. Yeah, I doubt we're going to have a great party. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can have a bachelor party, maybe. Yeah, I feel like DeAndre already knew that Blaine was going to propose to Olivia anyway, so he's not too surprised. But he's definitely um, congratulating him, of course. We're going to confess our attraction for Olivia. Obviously, we're attracted to her. We did ask her to marry her, right? To marry him? What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, like, that's usually a good rule of thumb to be attracted to the person that you're going to ask them to marry you, right? So, Mika, she is here. Trendy is here as well. She's playing darts, you know, trying to cover up her eyes because she is just that good at playing darts, apparently. <laughs> so we're actually going to greet Trendy because I kind of want Blaine to throw, to throw it in her face a little bit that he is now engaged to Olivia. Like, look at Trendy. She's thinking about love, hearts. She's thinking about Blaine. So I feel like Trendy has always had this huge thing for Blaine for a long time, obviously. That's why she really did despise Olivia and did try to ruin Olivia a little bit as well. Trinity does have commitment issues. That's why her and Blaine got along so well when they were younger. They would sleep together without any commitment, but I do think Trinity, deep down inside, does have a thing for Blaine, and I'm kind of glad that we got to throw it in her face a little bit. So even Olivia wants to throw a bachelorette party, we will see. I'm not too sure if I want to go through with the parties. Yeah, she is so angry, I feel like. <laughs> she was kind of like freaking out there about their engagement. Yeah, she's definitely not that pleased about it. <laughs> um, But yeah, so Blaine is engaged. And I'm also thinking as well, like what I was going to say, I'm not too sure if I'll have him or Olivia throw a bachelor, bachelorette party. I might skip it. I might not bother with it. And I might let them have a private wedding, actually, because I feel like I'm not too sure if they want to have, like, a big wedding day. I typically do do the big wedding days for my sims, but I might let them have, like, a, like a small little wedding, just the two of them, a very private wedding, if that makes sense. So let me know what you think, and I will be ending this part here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so very much. I'll be talking to you guys in the next part. Bye! <laughs>